Sunday morning on CBS. And here again is Lee Cowan. The 1986 comedy Three Amigos put Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase on horseback for a Wild West adventure. Well, now, those first two Amigos, the ones with Martin in their names, are together again and sharing some laughs with our Tony DeCoupe. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Martin. So what's going on? Oh, we call the rehearsal. You don't know about that. Yeah, well, I don't need it. It's just two hours before their show in Grand Rapids, Michigan, gets underway. Can you give me something to remember you by? Hepatitis wasn't enough! Oh, Caroline, Caroline. Even though Steve and Martin Short are used to getting laughs, they're busy working and reworking their material. What's your favorite scene in one of her movies? Let me show you. Oh, okay. I have a feeling that this is going to be too much, that you should end just with you guys. The thing about comedy is that you're always this close to failure. So the moment you become arrogant, you just, all you have to do is wait. So the fear of failing or the fear of bombing is as intense and acute today as it was your very first time. I don't think it's fear. I think it's like saying to the pilot, why do you always check those buttons every time you fly? You've been flying for 20 years. <laughs> he, that's what you do. All we ask is you want us. We'll give you our thanks. Their show, An Evening You Will Forget for the Rest of Your Life, now touring nationally and streaming on Netflix. You know, Steve and I are like Donnie and Marie without the sexual tension. <laughs> is a mix of self-mockery. Your comedy was so effortless. Oh, thank you. And I kept thinking, I wonder how it'd be if you put a little effort into it. <laughs> and clever nods to their classic skits. Your teeth are so white. Your smile is like an email from grandma, all caps. We can walk off stage, literally just edge into the curtain and we'll turn to each other and say, that one joke, it should come actually before the old thing. We'll do that, I have to have this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That revising immediately, right, in the wings. Well, that's when you can remember it. <laughs> <laughs> no one would blame Martin Short at 68 or Steve Martin at 72 if they did coast a little bit with a slew of awards How to get so funky plenty of memorable sketches a perfectly good day ruined right wrong not with Bronco's new shower and a briefcase and nearly Marie. 90 movies between Marie. them here boy Marie Marie they're not out to prove anything this is about two friends having fun through the years you made me grin what's it like getting around together at this oh it's great fun we it's have great, great fun. fun other day i said to marty thank god we're not exploiting our friendship <laughs> and but the truth is we're friends but you know we don't talk every day we don't i don't call him at 8 a.m hey what happened steve i think feels very close to me and i view him as a cash cow <laughs> Do you think of your insults together, or you write them individually? Go ahead. <laughs> Do you think of your insults for each other well, as we work a team? On together. 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 And by the way, sometimes we'll swap them. I think, no, yeah. that, that's a better insult to you. Yeah. So you have Theirs to is a story that dates back some 30 years, when they first met while making the movie Three Amigos. I'm Lucky Day. I'm the Needle I'm Dusty Bottom. So together we're the Three Amigos. <laughs> I just remember thinking, I like this guy. And I'm walking to the set, and, and I hear behind me <laughs> Catherine Hepburn saying, where's my bicycle? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> no, he does it great. And, and that made that I wish I brought my bicycle. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> from there, they built largely separate careers, aside from the memorable Father of the Bride movies. I said you so we select the keg first. Okay. Come on, just a keg. More often determined what kind of wedding that you end up having. So let's just choose a cat, okay? But in 2010, after Short's wife of 30 years, Nancy Dolman, died of cancer, Steve Martin was one of the friends who understood that in his mourning, Martin Short might benefit from keeping busy. The next summer, they appeared together on stage for the first time. I took a time off, and then I realized that being busy was normalcy. So, you know, if I was home, it seemed like 
Where's Nan? But if I was in a hotel room in Boston getting ready, that was the norm. How important was he to you in that time? You were relying on your friends and your family and time and your intellect. But certainly all my friends were valuable, and Steve was one of them. By the way, Martin Short is also the name I use when I check into a hotel and want to be anonymous. Now, you might call them a regular twosome. 35 years later, and you're still the jerk. <laughs> of course, it's a funny time to be funny in America. In this politically correct era, some of those early SNL sketches can be seen as bad form. Our top story tonight... It's very tricky, and, you know, I, I, I kind of fall in line with a, a lot of the uh, corrections in language. I, I, I think it's good. There are bits from your past and your past that I don't think you could do today, and many of your colleagues have done bits that I don't think would fly today. I, I think, you know, Steve and I slightly share a difference in this. <laughs> I don't care. I think it's way so ridiculously overreactive now, and so I think you have to be your own barometer and know what is correct or not. Fortunately, for these two old pros, what's funny is funny. Plus, a lot of fun. I'm not motivated, at least right now, to write a play or this or that. I'm, I'm motivated by this. I really like this. I don't think because you're 68 you have to, goodbye. You know, I'm not, I don't think you do that. I might win an Oscar. By the way, that was beautiful, and we should put that in the show. Thank goodbye. You. I might win an Oscar at 78. I might... You know, I don't, I can't predict, unless I was either physically unable or I actually dreaded going to work. I can't ever imagine stopping, and I would hate to think, I'd like to think that I was the best version of myself on the last day of my life as a performer. That's clear. You still love it. Yes. Yeah, we I actually do. My friend Steve Martin. My friend Martin Short. Next, we're off on a space odyssey.